OMG. Okay, ignore my hair. It's been in a ponytail all day. I just had another fucking annoying ass doctor's appointment here in Toledo. And let me tell you, honey, this is my last. It's so irritating to me. Because, you know, I live in Toledo. But, obviously, I have to go back to driving two hours there, two hours back, four goddamn hours to see regular doctors who can actually give me regular answers. So, I went to see this other doctor that is, um, it's like three minutes away from my house. Left work like an hour or two early. Like an hour, yeah, two hours early, whatever. Oh my god, the fucking room was dim as fuck. Like, goddamn. I didn't know if I was going to sleep or waiting for a fucking doctor's appointment. It was dim as hell. The floor was fucking gross. Actually, a lady dropped a fucking pop in there and didn't even tell nobody. Like, she dropped it, picked it up, didn't even ask anybody to clean it up for her, didn't even try to fucking clean it up. I was just like, when that shit happened, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be something. So I got there 30 minutes early. I was seen an hour later. My doctor's appointment lasted probably 30 seconds, if that. First of all, he came in and he's like, oh, my computer's dying. Like, he was literally talking that fucking loud. That's probably half of the reason why I have a damn headache. Like, I don't know if he's going deaf or if he's just one of them annoying ass people. I hate people. I can't stand people to talk loud. Like, what, what are you screaming for? I don't get it. Anyways. So we had to go get a new computer. Then he's like, oh, I'll just keep the door open because you're the only person here. That was fucking rude. I'm like sitting there in a freaking paper smock because that's what they had. Then he's like, what, um, what do you say? What medications are you allergic to? It's one medication that I'm allergic to that I can't remember the damn name of because I took the shit six years ago. One time, probably seven years ago. So, in the middle of me trying to figure this out, he's, like, looking at me like I'm lying about the shit. First of all, I had a damn referral there. So, you should have checked the fucking chart. So, I shouldn't even have to tell you what the fuck I'm allergic to, bitch. Because if you would have checked the damn chart, you would have seen it was there. Then he's like, what insurance do you have? I'm like, Anthem. What kind of Anthem? Okay. Once again, I had a referral there. Everything was sent over. So, you should have asked your staff, not me, what kind of Anthem I have. And I gave them the cards when I first got there. So, once again, check the chart. Then he looks at my side and stuff. And he's like, um, yeah, this is all surgical related. <laughs> oh, my God. That is almost... I feel like that takes the cake from the last doctor that told me that I really don't have KT. Because that is just the stupidest shit I ever heard. So he thought that pushing on my tumor, and I'm like, that does not feel comfortable, that hurts. He thought that that was enough to say that this is surgical related. So like, maybe after he said that, maybe like 10 seconds later, he's like, yeah, see me in six months after your surgery. I'm like, what surgery? Because I said I want to have surgery this summer. I did not say that I was having surgery this summer. I said I want to have surgery this summer. But my doctors don't know what to do yet about my spleen. That's exactly what I said. I was just like, oh my god. Then he screams it to the other person. Six months after surgery. The person, the lady at the front. I can't even, like, I'm just so, ex I was already tired from work. It's raining. My leg is infected again. So that's making me really fucking tired because the shit is getting heavy as hell. I'm just really tired today. You can even hear it in my voice. Like, my voice is going out. I'm so tired. I can't wait. I just got home. I don't know if y'all can hear, but that's my shower. I started my shower with water, and I'm about to get in that shower. I wanted some freaking pancakes, but I'm just going to make me, like, a quick sandwich or something like that. And I'm about to just lay down because I'm just really tired. It's been a long week. But, yeah, so that's what he said. He said... All my problems are surgi surgical. They're related to my past surgeries. <laughs> it's like you can't even get mad anymore because it's just like the f 
the complete foolery and fuckery in this town is crazy. But if I was like a crackhead, I would get all the attention that I need in this town. But when you have like a regular need, a regular problem here, it just like goes to the wayside. And he's like, well, why don't you go to Cleveland where you normally go? Yeah. Because normal people go two hours away from their home. They don't have normal doctors. They don't have regular doctors. Regular people don't see local doctors. They drive two hours every time they have a problem. And it doesn't cost money to drive back and forth. It doesn't take time to drive back and forth. You don't have to pay a copay on top of the money that you spent to get back and forth. None of that exists. Because all you got to do is just go to Cleveland. I'm just like, oh my god, I am so done. I am, ugh. I hope I really, I really hope I do not get sick in this town. Because it's going to be real bad for me. Because I'm not seeing no more doctors here. Any more doctors here. Ugh. This is like, it's so annoying because I would kind of like to stay in Toledo because it's cheaper here. But it's just not for me. I just have to go back to Cleveland or go somewhere where people actually have a fucking brain. And where they actually care. Because just like that dumbass nurse practitioner that I was seeing, Tammy Kiker. She says, when I'm like, I need to talk to you about, um, what did I say? I think I told her I need to talk to her about my spine. I want to know. So, I don't know. It was something. Like a simple question. She's a nurse practitioner. And I asked her about it. And she's like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to get into the leg thing. Mm. So you want to give me a half physical? And then when I ask you a simple ass question. I think it has something to do with swelling. I don't know. I can't even remember. You don't want to get into the leg thing. Even though you're a nurse practitioner. Even though you are a family nurse practitioner. So when people come see you and they pay their insurances that you definitely charge. You only want to answer basic ass questions. Because you don't want to get into the leg thing. So if you don't want to get into people's other problems. Why the fuck are you a nurse? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why are these people working in the medical field to help people. When they really don't want to. Because in my experience, the only thing you want to do is charge my insurance and waste my goddamn time. Oh, and then not only that, he didn't even close the door. First of all, he didn't even say bye, which I think is fucking rude. He just walked off. Didn't even close the door. So, I basically got dressed with the door open. Yes. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. But, that's too little for you. Ugh, I have a freaking headache. Only good thing is this Friday, I'm about to take a shower. My legs have been so swollen. I've been having to elevate my having to elevate my legs. Oh, I don't know what's going on with all this improper grammar. I guess because I'm tired. But since today is Friday, my show, the originals, comes on. <laughs> so that's about to give me some pleasure. Also, I don't know if you guys have a Meyer where you are, but we have a Meyer here. And Meyer had a sale on Simply Apple Juice. So I got to. So my apple juice whatever i'm about to eat and my show the originals which comes on at eight o'clock oh my god let me see what time it is Six twenty-two. dang time flies and i was in that damn doctor's office for two hours but um yeah it's about to be a good night and i've been watching um i have a fire stick now and i also have amazon prime which i need to actually use more get my money's worth i've been watching the shows on there but i need to like order some stuff and actually i have some plans to go to a concert so i will be ordering some some stuff soon but i need to do that to you know get my money's worth for my amazon prime but anyways today's gonna be a good day my back is hurting again i never got my scoliosis brace i'm just gonna go to cleveland clinic um this is my 10 year reunion year so I'm going to go to my 10-year reunion, and I'm going to schedule appointments around the time. Because the, the thing is, like, a Friday, Saturday, is Sunday. So, I'm probably going to schedule my appointments for that Friday morning. So, I can just, like, I can go to Cleveland. Dang. I should probably, yeah, I'll probably go there on a Thursday night. And then, Friday morning. I'll figure it out. But anyways, I'm going to show you on my leg because this thing is crazy. 
I'm trying to figure it. Like, I don't know if it's just acting crazy. First of all, it's grown back. My pelvis tumors are back. And, honey, they ain't taking no fucking prisoners. It feels so heavy. It feels like I have bricks in my vagina. That's how bad the tumors are. I cannot. I'm going to send my doctor. Uh, I don't want to text him because I haven't talked to him in a while. I'm going to send him an email because it's crazy. And it's so infected. It's, like, warm. Of course, I can't tell anybody about it here in Toledo because they don't want to get into a leg thing. So, I got to wait till I go to Cleveland Clinic. Hopefully, everything will be okay. I need some more backdrop which is um, for infection. Oh, I guess I should just, like, text. No, not text. I guess I should just send an email to my Cleveland doctors because they could send me some Bactrim. And that's crazy. Like, I email them and I say, oh, I need some Bactrim. Oh, okay, we'll send it. It's pretty simple. You know, it's so, it's just a different experience in Cleveland and Toledo because, like, in Cleveland Clinic, they genuinely want to help you for the most part. I've come across two rude-ass doctors, but two rude doctors versus ten nice ones, you just kind of forget about the rude. But I definitely need to get back on Bactrim because between my damn pelvis tumors swelling, my hip swelling, I think my leg is opening back up, which freaks me out really bad. I have new hemangiomas on my knee, my right knee, which I never had them there before. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and all this I'm doing while working. So, it's crazy. And I'm trying to get back into school because I got to get out of here. Even if I don't get out of here, I got to make more money. So, something. But it's just a lot. But anyways, if you guys are having these swelling problems, what's this look like? Something wet on here. Hmm. Okay, anyways. If you guys are having swelling problems like me, let me know. Tell me what y'all doing because so far... I'll get in a bathtub with Epsom salt like twice a week and that makes me feel a little bit better for like that day. And then I elevate my leg at night so I can get some sleep but it's still too, it's just, it's not, I don't, I don't know. And then I have to think about this. Is there anything that's ever really going to make it better? Even though when I had that surgery in 2014, I felt great. After I had the emergency one. I had felt great for a long time. Till it started like growing back. I think I probably felt great for like 10 months. So. Even if I just get that done. It's something. But I need some kind of relief. Because it's just going to like drive me crazy. And it's really bad at work. Because I sit in this chair. It's like kind of bad. It's like. Sitting. Crap. Sitting. Hurts. Laying down. Hurts. It's just. It's surgery time. Okay, but anyways, let me hurry up because my bath water is, is just going to get cold. I mean, my shower water is just going to get cold. Move. My dog's messing. Move. Do you see the redness? The swelling. That white thing is a piece of gauze. That redness tells it all. Oh, forgot this other part. That crap is swelling again. Like, all this is swelling. It's crazy. It's opening the hell back up. And then on my leg, leg, it's a lot of redness because of swelling, which is letting me know that that side is opening back up. And it's just like, it's stressful. It's stressful. It's painful. And it shit freaks me the hell out. So, yeah. That's where I am. That is where I am. But anyways, toodaloo, you guys. Hopefully, I will make a video soon. I'm going to stop making promises because life really fucks up your plans. I always have these, like, I just always want to do this and make these videos and stuff like that. And then just life happens and I'm just tired all the time. So, I hope to make more videos on a more frequent basis. But until then, talk to you later. Add me on Snapchat. I mean, Shaw. One word. I think my Instagram is the same. I can't really remember. And Facebook. Bye-bye. <laughs>